Good afternoon, traders. It's Kev here, the Forest Calper. Um, today, I'm making a, a small video about the concept strategy supply and demand. It's going to be a raw video, short video, um, with a simple explanation on the on supply and demand. Um, we're looking to GBP out on the four hour chart on this moment. Um, most of the time, I start mapping out my supply and demand areas on the four hour charts. Um, yeah, let's start, guys. Okay, supply and demand areas, areas of high sensitivity, um, where we can spot some signs of reversal uh, or breaks. My first level of supply is right here. This was a fresh level of supply. Supply and demand areas are mainly flat, fresh uh, key levels. Uh, it's a different concept than support and resistance. Keep that in mind. Uh, right here, we see a level of supply. You can see the price um, pushing down, uh, came back to supply, grabbed those orders, pushed down again. Um, now we're looking for a level of demand. Seeing a level of demand right here. Um, as soon as the price came in the level of demand, right here, okay, you can see that the price uh, start to buy off to the upside again, um, to level of supply, very simplistic. Uh, moving down to the hourly time frame, you can see that the price is bouncing nice between the supply and amount areas, okay. Um, you can even draw your levels of supply uh, and demand uh, on the hourly chart. If you're looking to the hourly chart, I would say we have a level of demand right here, first key level. So more than likely if price uh, start to push down more on this pair, uh, we can expect that the price will push in this level of um, demand, okay? And from this point, we should see what the price will do. Most of the time we see that the price will pin in this level of supply demand. Um, in this example, it's demand. Supply is above, demand is below. Okay. Makes sense. Um, let's move down to Euro GB, GB, GBP. GPY, sorry. Okay, let's move to the four hour charts again. As you can see, it's overall seller's market. Price consolidate right now in a good, in a good range. Good pip range. Okay, makes sense. Um, if you're looking to your GBY, moving down to the hourly, which is sometimes more clean to me, we can see that we had a level of supply right here and you can see the spikes in the level of, su of supply very powerful uh, spikes right here price never broke to the upside uh, and start to sell off again to the downside okay but like i said this uh, the overall consolidation market um, but yeah of course you can draw your s d levels very nicely I see a fresh level of supply right here. But as you can see, it's still sell off uh, market. Um, first touch, second touch, third touch, becomes a little bit weaker, but you can see that the price start to sell off right here again. If you draw another level of demand, you can definitely say this a level of demand. If you're moving down to the 30 minute time frame, you can see that the price is bouncing nicely between these levels of supply and demand. Um, yeah, supply and demand areas are mainly fresh levels, okay? It's not like supporting resistance that levels that have touched it before. Okay, it's mainly fresh levels, so we're looking for fresh key levels. Uh, as you can see, this is a uh, very nice fresh key level. Um, so in an area like this, uh, we're looking for buys, okay? But like I said, most of the time you see spikes, and after that, the price starts to sell buy off, you know? 
So that is the idea behind it. If you're looking more to the left, let's see if we can find more supply in the mount areas. Right here, we can see a nice level of supply. Price start to sell off, price come back. And again, the price start to sell off, okay? Push to the downside, retest this trend line and push again to the downside. The same scenario we see here um right here push to the downside pull back to supply to grab more orders to grab the liquidity and a push down okay very nice seller's market Right here, same scenario. Supply up front, level of supply, overall seller's market, price start to sell off from this area, pushing to the upside again, grabbing more sell orders to grab the liquidity that Rick Ware spoke earlier about, and price pushing down. Supply and demand areas, guys. Right here, we see also a level of supply but price never came back to this level of supply. So, but it is a level of supply. Sometimes we see that the price not coming back to the level of supply or demand and creating new zones, okay? That is the idea. This is a, a really raw explanation on supply and demand, uh, but it goes way deeper. Um, how you can execute attack on setups like this, because it's a very, very powerful, concept i explained this in my online course as well and in my handbook uh, about supply and demand fake out market manipulation liquidity um, how you can benefit from areas of this in the charts okay you will gp GP, gp gpy um let's see okay nice example right here as well guys a very nice and powerful level of supply. You can see overall seller's market price start to sell up from this area, uh, pushing to the upside again. Level of demand below, as you can see. So come back to the level of supply, grab those orders, very nice liquidity wick um, to fake out buyers, okay, as you can see simply a fake out a lot of retail buyers will enter the market right here uh, and after that all those sellers came in banks institutions they know these levels you know um and yeah everyone think it's a it's a change of trend it's not a change of trend J this is just um a simple pullback to this level of supply to grab those orders and after that price start to sell off hard okay and as you can see the level of demand very powerful level again price never broke to the downside from this fresh level of demand so and again price start to buy off very hard okay if you draw this more to the right you can see this this level of supply in to the upfront is respected again you know push down big less push to the upside to grab all those orders and after that price start to sell off again very hard drawing this level more to the right and you can see that it's a very very powerful concept supply and amount okay little short video really raw um, there's a lot of more to learn about supply and amount if you have any interest interest in to learning it visit my website theforestcalpers.com Wish you all a great, uh, great day. Happy trading. Cheers. Yeah.